hello today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a collab video and I love doing collabs and today it's one of my favorite collabs it's the a face the face a face off and it with it is with a fellow Swede um, her name is Anna Halvarsson and her channel is Anna Halvarsson Beauty and her channel is in Swedish so not all of you that are checking me out can check her video out unless you know Swedish. So, um, we are going to do a face-off and we are going to do with the Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe and I will of course leave Anna's channel down below and also her video and she seems like a really sweet girl. She is pretty new on YouTube and I think you are doing really good for being new because I know how hard it can be. So it's going to be really fun to see where she will come with her channel. And this face-off is created by Danielle Smith. I have done a face-off with Danielle Smith. I will leave her channel and uh, down in the description as well. And Danielle is going through a rough time in her life now. So if you're going to check out Danielle say something nice to her, she really needs it, and yeah, that's not what this video is all about. So we are doing a face of me and Anna with the Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe, and we have picked out five colors from random.org, and I just have to check which color it was. So we got Iris, this light purple one, Re, I love it this color so so much and then we got Erin as well and then we got Shy 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 this dark shimmer green and also Faye this blue one so I think I will swatch them for you so it's a little bit easier for me to know what I want to do with them so this is Iris this is really bright one and then it's re love this and Erin so these are the matte ones and then the sh two shimmer ones so this is shy and also Faye so these are the five colors we have to work with and I'm going to try to figure out what I want to do with them and then we'll just hop into this face off part, this makeup part of this video. Okay, so I am pretty sure what I want to do. I will start with Erin, this lighter green shade and take it in my crease with a big fluffy brush. And as you know, I like to take my crease color pretty high up. And when Anna asked me if we could do a collab, uh, she also asked me if it was okay if she did it in Swedish. And I said, of course, because I know myself how hard it is to speak another language on your channel. And especially when you speak a language that you don't speak on a daily basis. I usually speak some English at work, but it's not like a long sentence and like not a conversation. And yeah, I was so nervous when I put up my first video when I was talking English because it was like, Everybody's going to laugh at me because I'm not that good at English. So when she asked if the, she could do it in Swedish, I was like, of course you can. I don't want to pressure you to do something you're not comfortable with. And it feels like you are very like exposed to and very sensitive to hate when you're not doing it in your own language. But that's a whole other story. And if you're wondering, 
I have talked about this before, almost every Swede can speak English because we learn English from like we are eight or nine years old and we watch a lot of English movies and TV shows because we watch everything in the original language. We have Swedish subtitles to everything. Uh, so we are around English like our whole lives. But to learn, but to know a language and speak it is not the same thing. Okay, I will go in with Re on a smaller brush and guess what? Deepen down the crease. I really, really, really love this shade. Uh, where when I was in London, it was 2013, maybe 12, 13, 12, I think, something like that. Um, it was like when they talked to me. It was like I forgot how to speak in English, and it was like uh, I don't know. It's so hard. Um, okay, so I think I want to go in with Re on my lid as well because I just love this shade. shade it's so unique I don't have any other shade that is like this it's so freaking gorgeous gorgeous I really 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 love it I it's almost like I could buy this palette for only this shade because it's amazing I think that blush tribe should do singles as well. I understand it's maybe hard for them because it's an indie brand and now I have taken the swatches on my shirt. Okay, so then I will go in with Shy Shay, this one. Yes, I want to. And try to put it out here. It was pretty... It's not like a shimmer shade like these. It's more like a metallic or something. I don't really know. So I will put it out here. I will try at least. Maybe it doesn't even stick. I haven't had any problems with other shimmer shades. But I know that others have. It doesn't feel like it's getting on anything. On my eye. And these brushes usually work quite like with everyone. I remember Annette said with her palette it was like she had to go past the first the top layer of the shadow. I think it was this one she talked about. So I maybe just have to get in. Okay, I can see that something is happening. I think you can see that too. Did you hear that? Somebody is hangry. I like that I hold the palette like this. I don't know why. And I am sorry if somebody is creeped out by my ear, but as you can see it's a little bit red. And it's only this year, not this year. And when it gets like this I usually wear ear weights instead because it's more comfortable to the ears and why it's only this ear because I always sleep on this side and 
okay a little side story if you don't have stretched ears you don't know what I'm talking about you do not know the feeling I'm talking about the larger you stretch your ears the harder it is to sleep so when I am sleeping and as I will sleep on this side my ear is like twisting I show with a good ear it's like twisting I can sleep like this and it's really pulling on the ear or I can sleep like this and because I always sleep on this side it's irritating this ear sometimes and because you see this ear is good um, it's just because I don't sleep on it so sometimes I put in ear weights instead just to give my ears a little break and I'm sorry if you think it looks disgusting um, but I need to be nice to my ears Okay, I think I like this. Something really good is happening. <laughs> Say that about my own look. So I think I am satisfied with the lids like this. So I will take away the fallouts, I will fix my base and then we do the under eyes and we have two shades left. We have... Oop, how should I hold this? Can I? Yeah, I can bend it backwards this one and this one so i will figure out something i think i already know what i want to do so i will take away the fallout fix my base and my brows and then we'll be back and we complete this look okay yes i am back and now i will do my under eyes and i will take this one Faye, and put it on my lower lash and i don't know Maybe need to spray this. I will tap off and see. It doesn't seem like it has fallout, so I will try. Okay, I think I need to spray it. And no, I can't do this with my mouth closed. And I feel like I'm satisfied with it like this and then I will take the last shade iris and put it in my inner corner and I really hoped this will work I have no clue I maybe think I should have gone in with some Something sticky here. Can I do it? Yes, I do this with my finger. I think that, that worked out pretty good. And I will just take... A little bit more of the blue shimmer to the head on my lower lash and take it a little further down. So I think like this um, for my low waterline. I think I will take something. First, I thought about this one from Colourpop but I think I will take this this one from NYX for white in white smoke and this is a little Leven L Lavendel 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 how the hell Lavendel Lavendel Laven is it even a word in English I think that this was pretty Okay, so I will put on my mascara. So, this is the finished look. For lips, I took Jeffree Star's... What was this? A mannequin. Mannequin? Mannequin. Mannequin. Um, I like this one. So, yeah. So, this is my finished look for the face-off with a Sina 2 palette with Anna. It feels so strange. Her name is Anna in Swedish and Anna in English, but Anna... 
and don't forget to check her out if you understand Swedish or you can just watch her doing her makeup without understanding if you want to. I think this is so fun to do face off and thank you Anna for wanting to collab with me and it's going to be so fun to see what you are coming up with with these shadows and don't forget to check her out. It's so fun to see somebody new on YouTube because it's just fun. Where did I want to go with that? So this is my finished look and if you want to do a face-off with me please tell me because I love doing face-offs. You can either comment down below if you want to or you can DM me on Instagram. I feel like an old person when I say that like DM me I can write my Instagram name here. So thank you Anna for wanting to do this collab and I hope you like this video. I like this look. I think it I think it was a good look. Maybe I should have taken a blue liner um, or maybe green. No, I think blue. But I like this look and I hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!